It's Jimmy again from the Deadlies out here in sunny California where it is indeed sunny. It's beautiful out here. Summer is right around the corner. I am sure she is. Um, I'm here to wish a very happy birthday to two amazing guitar players, both born this day on March 3rd. First one is a Mr. Snowy White, born on this day in Barnstaple, Devon, England, which is, I believe, in the Isle of Wight. Um... Snowy White got, came to fame in 1977 when he was one of the backup guitar players for the Wall Tour. He also played in the Roger Waters Band, played in Pink Floyd many, many times. He is good friends with Peter Green, the famous Peter Green with the famous Les Paul. Uh, Snowy White also played a very famous Les Paul. He had a 68 Les Paul Gold Top that he played in every band that he was in. Um, also, I was lucky enough to see Snowy White a couple of times in Thin Lizzy, I believe in the 1981 tour, or 1981 tour and the 1982 tour. Amazing both times. I was a huge fan of, of Thin Lizzy, and uh, it was great to see him in that band. Uh, right after the tenure of Gary Moore and right before John Sykes. And it was also the birthday of one Dave Amato, born on this day in Framingham, Massachusetts, Dave has played in many, many, many bands. Um, I'm just going to run through a few of them. He ha had a short tenure in Black Oak, Arkansas. He played with Cher. He played with Jimmy Barnes in Australia. Um, I'm a, a, actually a Jimmy Barnes fan. Um, he also played and sang with Ted Nugent. And he has been the guitar player in REO Speedwagon since 1989. Actually, he's been the longest guitar player, long, had the longest tenure in, of any guitar player in that band. Um, adding a lot of spice and clarity to Gary Ritrath's leads. And uh, so he did a great job. He's doing a great job. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so please support Vintage Guitar Magazine and all the wonderful things they do because they do many, many wonderful things, including bringing you these videos and bringing you a great magazine that you should probably spend some time and read. Um, finally, it is the anniversary of the death of one of my favorite guitar players of all time, and that would be Mr. Monty, Ronnie Montrose. Um, unfortunately passed away on this date um, just a few years ago and so I'm going to go out with little Ronnie Montrose. Here we go. That part isn't Ronnie Montrose. <laughs>